Hey everybody, Mr. Boma from Mr. Boma's Balloons. Um, I wanted to show you the lion variation of the tiger that I taught. Um, so this is the lion head. Um, and I've had some questions in that video I mentioned kind of moving the muzzle up. Here you can kind of see, if I pull that out of the way, the muzzle is all the way down at the bottom of the triangle here. Um, and it still looks great, um, but I mentioned in the video that I like the muzzle up on the face a little higher um, and people are wondering how to do that um, and the key is actually you pull the muzzle open and you kind of wedge this bridge of the nose you kind of wedge it in there um, but the other thing is that um, you can't really do that if this is tied too tightly to that pinch twist um, so, and here's a, a tiger, again, with the, the muzzle, you can see instead of being way down here, hanging off of this pinch twist, it's moved up a bit, and the, the bridge of the nose is actually wedged into the muzzle. Um, so the, the way that you do that is you have to make the bubbles in a slightly different order than I taught it in the first video. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'll show you how to get this effect if you prefer this. Okay, to make this go a little quicker, I've got um, pre-made nose and pre-made eyes. I wasn't real clear on the, uh, the tiger video. The eyes should have a little bit of slack between them. Uh, we are going to do our equilateral triangle. And I'm only filling this about halfway, maybe just a touch more than halfway. Pinch twist. Three and a half ish to four finger bubble. Pinch twist. Matching bubble. Pinch twist. Matching bubble. Okay, it should be an equilateral, all three sides the same. Eyebrow. So coming across about halfway. Now here's where things get a little different. I'm going to make a very small, very soft, small bubble. And now I'm going to do the muzzle. So about two and a half finger bubble. And a two and a half finger bubble. I've played around with this doing a three bubble roll through right here and pinch twisting one of them. Um, and I don't think it looks as good as doing the lower lip separately. So I'm going to do it separately. Okay, so now I'm attaching that with a little bit of slack to the bottom. Okay, so there's a little bit of slack in there. And now match these two bubbles coming back. So a small, soft bubble. Oh, this should go. This should go back around the muzzle. Okay, now a small, soft bubble. And again, if they don't exactly match, that's fine because one of them is going to go in the back. So that's okay. And then the other eyebrow. We'll twist that in. Get rid of the rest. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the mane, and then we'll do the rest of the muzzle and the nose. So. A little more than halfway inflated, six-ish finger tail. We're going to attach it one of the ears. We're going to do bubbles all the way around on the back of the head. So there's one. There's two. And there's three. Okay. Now I'm going to come across the top of the head. Across the top of the head like that and then this is going to go around around the head the remainder of this is going to be 
in the back, so just attach that in the back, and then you'll split that, and that will be one of the neck attachment points in the back. Now I know this looks funny with the way the nose is right now, we're going to fix that. Okay, take your other golden rod. We're only going to use just a little bit of this, and I know it seems silly to use just a little bit of a balloon right here, but honestly, it's um, it's the best way that I found to do it. It gives you the best shape for the muzzle, um, and if you, like I said earlier, you could do a three bubble roll through there, but it it just it doesn't look the same. Okay, once you've got that, you can tear it off. And tie it, and now pinch twist this. I know it, it seems odd that it would, uh, would look different, but it does. Okay, now you'll notice the muzzle is kind of hanging off the bottom. That's how we had it before. We're going to fix that. So let's go ahead and put the eyes in. One, two... Okay, so there are the eyes. We'll attach the nose. Whenever you're wrapping something around the muzzle, make sure you're just going around the muzzle and not going around that pinch twist. We want that little bit of slack between the pinch twist and the muzzle um, so because we're going to be repositioning the muzzle. We don't want it tied very tightly to that pinch twist. Okay, we'll bring that down and then around. Tie that here and then cut off the rest. And that's where I want it tied. And cut off the rest. Okay. So that's going to go around. Okay. So in the in the tiger video, I said, well, you just kind of shove that up there. But what we should be able to do now is, because this is nice and soft, um, we sh and because we have that slack there, we should be able to pull the muzzle open a little bit and actually put the bridge of the nose into, into the muzzle. And we may need to reposition the, the lips. Okay. So now you can see the bridge of the nose is actually going to be in, tucked into the muzzle. Can you see that? Okay, and then the nose goes right there. Bring that down, bring this around. Okay, so if a kid's going to be playing with this, they can easily undo that and it'll pop back to being how it was before and, you know, oh well. Um, but if it's a display piece and nobody's going to be messing with it, then you can, you can really get that muzzle in a good position and I think it really helps with the shape of the face overall. Um, and then draw in your eyes. Um, the eyes, in order to make sure that they're looking forward, make sure that the pupils are above the muzzle and not off to the side. So that's how you make sure he's looking straight ahead. The muzzle is straight ahead. His pupils should be over the muzzle. And if you want, you can put some... All right. So there's the lion head, pretty much the same as making the tiger head, a couple of very small differences, and hopefully that will help with muzzle positioning so that you don't look like the muzzle is like drooping off of the face. All right, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.